On the left, there is an electronic board that, among its various functions, is responsible for controlling the fan of the indoor unit, visible on the right side of the screen. This fan has a sensor known as the Hall Effect Sensor, which measures the motor's revolutions. In this case, the Hall Effect Sensor is powered by 5 volts, from the electronic board. The signal generated by the speed sensor, is transmitted to the electronic board through a cable. This signal reaches the main controller of the board, providing information, about the fan speed. When the user decides to increase the speed, the main module evaluates the current speed, and prepares the control signal to the fan. However, the main controller requires two signals to control the new fan speed, the current speed, and the zero crossing signal from the voltage curve coming from the electrical grid, which is extracted through an electronic circuit on the board. To control the fan speed, the optocoupler receives the signal from the main controller, and sends its control signal to a component called the triac. The triac, through one of its pins called the gate, receives the signal from the optocoupler. The gate activates the triac, through a voltage signal, allowing communication, between pins MT1 and MT2, acting as a gate-controlled switch. The current from the external electrical grid reaches the triac, through a trace, and connects to the fan through a connector. When the voltage curve approaches zero volts again, the triac disconnects automatically, interrupting the motor's power supply. To reactivate the fan, the controller receives the zero crossing signal, checks the current RPM, and commands the triac to fire according to the desired speed value. For example, for high speed, the triac fires quickly once the curve crosses zero, allowing the fan motor to rapidly reach the desired speed. In contrast, for low speed, the controller waits for the zero crossing signal, and the current speed signal but delays the triac activation, by a few additional milliseconds to slow down the voltage supply, and reduce the speed. In the graph, we observe the moment when the triac fires, corresponding to a fan speed required by the user of 25%. In the graph, we observe the moment when the triac fires, corresponding to a fan speed required by the user of 50%. In the graph, we observe the moment when the triac fires, corresponding to a fan speed required by the user of 75%. In the graph, we observe the moment when the triac fires, corresponding to a fan speed required by the user of 100%.